So for the past few months, Pixelgun 3D has went through a lot of changes, and even they announced a lot of things that's going to happen to this game, and even for the future of this game. So anyway, we're going to be going over basically everything that has happened um, in the past like four weeks, and stuff that's going to be coming up very, very soon that's going to change this game a lot. Now, some of you already know what I'm about to say. Some of you already have heard half the things I'm going to say, but for other people... They may not know this. So anyway, we're just going to be going over stuff that just basically, as I said, already happened and have yet to come. So yeah, so let's get into the first one. So most of you already know this, but Pixel Gun 3D is coming to Steam. And obviously you're like, okay, we've already heard this. This has been rumored for like the last four, four-ish weeks. So why are you telling me this now? No, this isn't a video that I accidentally forgot to post. Um, I'm telling you this now because... People think that because Pixel Gun is coming to Steam, that the game's not going to change in any way, which is actually going to change a tremendous amount. So basically, Pixel Gun coming to Steam is going to do a lot of things. So first of all, I want to go over some things that may not really matter to you guys. But basically, if you go down to Steam on Pixel Gun 3D, you can see the recommended requirements for the game. Now, most of you guys aren't tech savvy, and you really don't know what this stuff is. But if I just were to sum it up, basically, it's really low powered specs and what minimum and recommended specs mean means it just kind of tells you what your computer has to have. Now, the specs of this um, recommended and minimum are very, very low. And I'm talking about like this could probably fit in a $50 laptop. So this will probably end up bringing more players to the game considering that not that many people have this ultra cool gaming setup and now that people can actually play on these like $50 laptops people will actually have another sort of device to re um to go to or to rely on other than just a mobile device because having this m more of a layout like iPhone and Android yeah that's okay but some people don't have the fastest phones and that's why the game actually died most of the time I hear people saying that they quit the game just due to the fact that it's laggy and stuff like that but right here it's coming to steam and it's very very like weak requirements so you don't really need a big like giant like expensive computer for this and you could probably play it on your mom's $50 tablet or not tablet but her computer or something like that so just this for me like I was just thinking about it I was like this is actually going to bring a lot of people to the game considering that it's it's very very um easy to run and it's going to be on a different platform so yeah so let's get on to number two so another thing that you guys already know is the PC and Android and iOS port that they're doing. And basically, this has already been implemented in the game. So if you have an iOS account and you want to switch it over to Android, I'm pretty sure right now there's a way to do it. Um, I haven't really tried it yet because I am an Android person, so I'm not going to be switching over to, to, um, to iPhone. But I think when the um, Steam version comes out, you're actually going to have to port your account over to Steam. And this is going to be a little scary for me, I mean, because since I've spent $2,000 on this account, because, um, you know, there is a chance that your account could get messed up. Now, if you do it the right way and you get help, um, there's actually a support page that you can go on online and get help with this stuff. Um, but just because, you know, you're messing with your account progress and stuff like that, and you're porting over, inf you know, all this like data and stuff like that to another device it's just kind of really really weird and sketchy to me but other than that like it's gonna allow more people because a lot of people have ios accounts and i heard that on I ios you can't actually transfer like, like if i went out and bought a new phone i couldn't transfer my pixel account which i think is kind of weird because i'm pretty sure apple has like a apple cloud or something like that but apparently if you have an um android account or not android if you have an ios account apparently you can't change those account you can't transfer to another apple device which is kind of weird considering that you can transfer another android phone to another android device but um so yeah so importing this ios to android port it's going to actually increase the players again exponentially just because people will come back to the game because you know they have this old iphone which they could easily transfer to their new android account or vice versa anything like that so that's just the many few reasons why this game is probably going to increase in popularity when this team and ios and android port release so let's get on to the next one so in pixel gun 3d there is a thing obviously called the pixel pass right we get it every single month okay new guns and challenges right well there's this thing in Pixel Gun that I like to call the rinse and repeat, or most people will call it. Basically, what happens is the developers, 
30 days go by, they throw in new guns, and they give us the same exact test. Now, Mint did do um, some explanation about this a little bit better than I'm going to do, but basically, they're just throwing in the same challenges for the elite challenges. There's nothing special. I mean, do you guys even remember when, you know, you had to kill, like, five enemies on the top of the... um. Uh, Paradise Resort map or something like that with headshot. I mean that that was actually a unique and fun challenge to do and it was always something new every single time it was actually a challenge and um, when the new uh, when they updated the battle pass or the pixel pass they kind of changed all that now they've gotten lazy as I like to call um, with their challenges so it's kind of like uh, it's nothing really exciting that's really coming to the game but Recently, they're going to come out with this new game mode, and this new season that I'm going to talk about in the next part is going to be basically less focused on weapons and more focused on the game and just events that are coming out. So it's good that they're actually focusing on the majority of the game, like events and stuff like that in other parts, and not just the guns. I mean, we got literally like 1,200 guns in this game. I mean, adding new guns isn't going to bring anything special to this game. I mean, yeah, it's pixel gun, right? You know, guns are supposed to be in this game, and that it's always going to be a... Guns are always going to be a big part of this game, but it's not... It doesn't have to be, like, 89% of the game, right? Guns don't have to do that. I mean, we can always have other game modes, and there's going to be a game mode, as, again, I'm going to talk about in the next part. There's going to be a game mode, that, game mode that I really find interesting, and um, so, yeah, I'm just going to talk about that right now. So before I start this part of the video, I'm just going to say that um, I did get permission for Mint to actually use his pictures that he used in his videos. Um, I'm not going to go full in depth like he did. Um, I'm just going to give a brief description. So here are the leaks for the next um, Pixel Pass. Here, I'm just going to put some pictures about some weapons and stuff like that. You guys can decide what you, category you think it's in or something like that. I'm just trying to show you guys what's upcoming in the new Pixel Pass season. Now, anyway, the Pixel Pass is still like 18 days until it's over. So this one isn't like done by any means so i mean just take all these like as leaks i mean i'm pretty sure some most of these guns are gonna be in the next update but just you know remember that it's still a huge gap between like when the next update comes out so don't take everything you see for real but i do have some pictures um about the new game modes coming out so basically it's kind of like the back rooms in a sense well it's actually it is the back rooms and anyway Basically, this game mode is going to have, I guess, 37 levels or something like that. I don't really know for sure. You're going to have a better luck, you know, watching a content creator's video about that. Um, but basically, it's going to be like a mini game, I think. Um, quite new to the game. I don't think we're ever going to have this style um, of game like mini game. Because I know sometimes like this Operation Snowball and the new event that they have out right now is basically a rinse and repeat. But just like something different at least. Um, but right now they're coming out with a new game mode that I really, really like. And um, that I hear so far that it's going to be pretty good. So anyway, there's going to be 37 levels, I guess, or something like that. And each player is going to have to get through a certain level to obtain certain rewards. So that would be cool. And here's some pictures. They're just leaks and stuff like that. Um, again, I don't really know all that much, you know, all that information about everything. But this is just stuff that I found. So in the end, what do I think about the new upcoming, like, direction the pixel gun is going i really do like the direction it's going it's gonna really bring a whole bunch of fan base and players to the game um people may say it's not gonna but it's probably gonna you know increase in popularity now i'm not gonna say it's gonna increase in popularity like fortnite or apex or something like that but it is going to bring more players to the game and that's what the developers want right they want to bring players to the game they want people to spend money whether people don't like to spend money or not or they don't like the fact that developers are trying to spend money that's the only way the developers are going to get paid so that's what they're going to want to do they want to bring players to the game so they can buy stuff that's what every company wants to do so um i do like the way this is going i like the fact that they're focusing more on game mode and not just weapons and I like the fact that they're actually bringing it to um, other devices and not just a mobile game because I think Pixel Gun deserves to be on other devices and not just a mobile game because every time I hear someone talk about this game they refer to it as a mobile game which it is a mobile game obviously but I don't think that Pixel Gun I think Pixel Gun is good enough of a game that it doesn't deserve to just be called a mobile game I think it's supposed to be on more of um, variety of devices so the port the porting idea and the all that kind of stuff in steam i think it's a really big step for pixel gun 3d um especially for the porting thing because they ha probably have to do a huge like giant process to just even achieve the porting thing but um they've been probably working on this for a while they just haven't really told us till now 
But let me know in the comments what you think about the new stuff, that what's coming for Pixel Gun 3D. Let me know if you stopped playing and if you're going to play again, or let me know if you don't like the changes. Just let me know in the comments. And also, do subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next one.